She listened to her friend's final words. Don't tell my mom and don't let me die. And yet she's accused of not calling for help. Tonight, the friend of a Puyallup teen who overdosed on ecstasy is hit with more serious charges. Charges that could be more serious than the accused drug dealer might face. King 5's Bernard Choi joins us live in Everett tonight with reaction from the victim's family. Bernard? Gene, it's quite a change in this case because the original charge of causing someone's death by providing the drugs carried a sentence of up to 30 days. But with a new charge of manslaughter, that goes up to eight years. The prosecutors say uh, that is justified in this case because the defendant's careless actions caused her friend's death. 18-year-old Donna Lydia Huertas in court this afternoon to face the serious charge of first-degree manslaughter and the death of 16-year-old Danielle McCarthy. For Danielle's parents, this is the first step to what they hope will be justice for their daughter. I want the people who hurt Danielle to be held responsible, and I don't think that's asking for very much. Last December, Donna Lydia Huertas admitted to police she gave Danielle two ecstasy pills while going to and leaving a New Year's Eve party in Edmonds. Danielle took both pills and became very ill and began vomiting. At one point, she whispered to Donna Lydia, quote, please don't let me die. But according to court documents, that may be what Donna Lydia did. Asked repeatedly by several witnesses to help Danielle, Donna Lydia reportedly told them to get away and shut up that nothing was wrong. The then 17-year-old even went to bed as Danielle deteriorated on the couch. She was pronounced dead hours later on New Year's Day. That hurt. It hurt. My daughter was murdered that night, and uh, it wasn't by her own hand. Snohomish County prosecutors initially charged Donna Lydia with just providing the drugs that led to the death, but then added the manslaughter charges for what they say was reckless behavior. And we do believe that facts justify uh, that charge. You understand what you're charged with? Yes, Your Honor. Have you had a chance to review the information with your attorney? Yes, Your Honor. How do you plead? Not guilty. For Danielle's family and friends, the new charge brings some satisfaction, but they know there's a long road ahead. I'm still real nervous. You know, anything can happen, but we're hopeful. The defense attorney tells me he has several objections, including that it took too long for these charge to be filed. Also, he says the manslaughter charge is just too severe for the facts in this case. A trial is set for late November. We're live in Everett tonight. I'm Bernard Choi, King 5 News. Bernard, thank you. David Morris, the accused drug dealer, has been charged with homicide by controlled substance.